Hello and welcome to Pivot Buy. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're going to talk about the Pivot Buy function. Exercise one. Historically, to prepare a summary report of this table data, we might use a pivot table. And we can still do that, but now we have another option. Equals Pivot Buy. At the time I'm recording this video, this is a relatively new function rolled out to Excel 365. So depending on when you're watching this and depending on your version of Excel, you may or may not have access to this function right now. Even if you don't, I hope that you'll watch this short video because it's going to prepare you so that you're ready to use it when you get this in your version of Excel. The first argument is the row fields, which is rep, comma. The second argument is the column fields, in this case item. The third argument is the values column, which is amount. And the fourth argument is the aggregate function. For now, we'll use sum. Close the function and enter. <laughs> right? Now we basically have a pivot style report that we created with a single formula. And this is fully dynamic. So if there's new rows, new reps, or new items, we don't have to manually click refresh. Those values will automatically flow into this report. Pretty cool, right? But we're just getting started. Let's check out more in the next exercise. Exercise two. Here we're gonna look at some additional aggregate functions we can use. Equals pivot by. All right, so for our row fields, we want items. For our column fields, we want region. And for our values column, we want amount. And the aggregate function we want to use is sum. Close function and enter. And now we have a basic pivot style report. But we have many different additional aggregate functions we can use. For example, we have the ones you'd expect like min and max. But we also have percent of close function and enter. And we could easily apply some cell formatting to get the percentages. Now the other thing to note is we can have multiple row or column fields. So check this out. Equals pivot by. For the row fields, we want rep and item, comma. For the column fields, we want region. For the values, we want amount. And we want to go with sum, close function and enter. So that's pretty cool. But here's the thing, there are many additional arguments to the pivot by function. So let's check out some of those next. Exercise three equals pivot by, we want account num and account to be our rows field. We don't need a columns field. We want the amount as our values field and we want to do a function of sum, close function and enter. And now we have a basic report. Let's check out some of these additional arguments. We can go with field headers. So depending on what you're working on, you can explore these. We'll say no field headers. We can also choose the row depth. So for example, we could say no totals. Okay, that removes the grand total. But we can also say we want grand totals and subtotals. We want the grand totals at the top. So we can do that with a minus one, enter. So depending on what you're working on, you're gonna to wanna to check out these additional options. Here I'll go with no totals. We can also choose the sort order for rows. We can also choose the same basic options for columns. So do we want totals, grand totals? Do we wanna sort the columns? And then do we want to have a filter? So for example, I could say, yes, I only want to include those rows where the account number is greater than or equal to 5030. Enter. Cool. All right. So we just scratched the surface with the pivot by function, but I hope this intro is helpful. And even if you don't have pivot by in your version of Excel right now, I hope that this helps you get ready so that when you get pivot by, you can put it to work immediately. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 